Hi folks, why am I standing out here in my underwear in the rain? Well, it is a rainforest. And today, out here on Canada's wild west coast, I'm gonna show you how I layer up and get ready for a good session of photography in this amazing place. First, we need to talk about safety and nutrition though. This is a wild place and we are far, far from help. We are out of radio contact here. Sat phones may or may not work. And so safety and nutrition are super important. You're not gonna have a good photography session if you're cold and tired and injured. So bring lots of snacks. This is the place you can eat everything that you want. Have you ever seen a happy skinny seal? Not at all. Lots of layers of blubber and they're sound as a pound. From a safety point of view, we have a few layers here. We're out sea kayaking this week, and so we have life jackets and radios, flares. People know where we are, which is probably the most important thing, and also when we're supposed to get back. Other things we have here, we've got plenty of food and water, and we've got food and water for another day in case we get storm stayed. We have a good tent. We've got good sleeping bags, our gear is in good condition, and we're dressed appropriately for the weather, which is what we'll get into next. So, as you can see, I'm in my base layer here. I found over the years, itchy base layers don't work well, you just don't wear them. And so something soft and smooth and comfortable is important. And on top of that, then start layering. So right now I have a, a smart wool t-shirt on and you can see some smart wool long johns and again, wool socks. Next layer will be more of a functional layer, a little bit of insulation, but you'll notice on a lot of this rain gear and stuff, there are no pockets or it's hard to get at them. And so I like to wear actually a light pair of pants full of pockets so I can store stuff and not have to rummage through my rain gear for things. Okay, so here I am in kind of a mid-weight base layer, insulative layer. I've got a merino wool 200 weight long sleever and over my um, long johns of the same weight, I've got these just light nylon sort of hiking technical guide pants. There's like 13 pockets in here, good for batteries and camera cards and lens cloths, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so next layer, a little bit more insulation, and this I will vary depending on what I'm doing. If I'm sitting on a boat for eight hours in the driving storm, or if I'm going for a hike in the forest. So we'll go on the light side first. All right, so here is a nice lightweight down jacket down in the rainforest, you ask? Absolutely crazy, if you let it get wet. Down has no insulative capacity once it's wet, and so this needs to be well protected. The advantage of down, though, is rarely do you sweat in it doing light activity. It's great if you're doing nothing or just basic camp chores, as long as you protect it from the rain. They breathe great, really comfortable. An alternative would be a fleece jacket, these days we understand that when we wash fleece, we release a lot of microfibers and microplastics into the ocean. So we're sort of moving away from that a bit. But if you've got them in your closet, don't buy anything new and use that. And there's always the thick woolly sweater that everybody's got as a Christmas sweater. Chuck it on, nobody's gonna see that silly pattern on the front. Okay, next, we'll start protecting ourselves from the rain.
Okay, now I'm dressed in layers that I would probably use for a day like this. We've got heavy winds outside, blowing rain, squalls, and almost constant fog in. And so I need something just to keep all that moisture out. But I'm also active around camp, and later we're going to go for a hike. So I've got a pair of Gore-Tex pants, or I say Gore-Tex, but it could be any sort of waterproof, breathable laminate, and there are many out there, so you don't need a specific brand. These are great. They're pretty comfortable. Um, they've got a, a zip all the way down the side, so they're easy to get on and off without doing a hopping dance in the middle of the rainforest. This is a triple-ply Gore-Tex rain jacket. So again, on the heavier end, there is no place out here for light, wet weather gear. None. So spend the money if you're going to have to buy something new and get a heavy waterproof jacket. Uh, again, this is nice and breathable. There are pit zips that you can open up and increase ventilation. Um, and the other thing is, as you can see, I'm still wearing my down jacket underneath. Now again, I'm out about in the rain. My hood would very quickly get soaked. And so just a sort of tip, put the one hood up, Put your Gore-Tex hood up and then tuck them in together like that, protecting both. Next, we'll do some heavier wet weather gear. Okay, now we've gone a, up a level in insulation. I'm wearing actually now an insulated jacket. It's got a, a Gore-Tex outer layer, but in this one, it's a down inner layer. You can buy them with fleece. Um, obviously you can layer on underneath, but this is now getting into kind of more of a storm level protection. You can sit for long periods of time if you're waiting for the eagle to take off from the branch or something. Or on boats, when the wind is really howling, you want something really insulated. So this is kind of next level. I should also mention on my footwear, at this point I'm wearing a shoe that's got a Gore-Tex liner in it. Um, rubber boots work well if you're just sitting around camp, but obviously aren't the most comfortable for hiking. Um, light hiking boots also work great. Next, we'll put on the final layer of ultra storm gear for sitting by the river for eight hours waiting for the bear in the teeth of the storm on the boat being tossed with spray and rain. And that's the most extreme gear that I use out here on the West Coast. Okay, now I am dressed for the worst the BC coast can throw at me. I'll wear this outfit for hours in the storm. I can sit and do nothing, I can be active. This particular gear is actually sailing gear and it is made to be out on boats in the worst the weather the ocean could throw at you. So it is supposed to be a little bit breathable but really the emphasis is on waterproofness. This particular one is pretty lightweight. There are double cuffs, so I can seal this wrist cuff and uh, reach for things, fiddle with tripods, and then you've got an outer cuff over top. Pretty bomber hood. The pants are bib pants, which again allows you a lot of mobility, and this is why I like them. I can run through the forest, you know, run to where the, the next spot is, or if we see the bear disappearing around the corner, I can move pretty fast and light. On my feet, you'll notice I now have hiking gaiters over my shoes. Again, we're kayaking and so rubber boots are big and bulky and heavy. And so we'll bring these as sort of a substitute and they keep our shoes nice and dry. Uh, they go halfway up my calf and so I can wade through wet grasses just fine. So I'll zip this up. When the wind starts blowing, another really important layer is a hat. This is a wool hat. We lose a huge amount of heat through our heads. Most of what I've got, you'll notice, has a hood, so I can put that up. But when you're trying to look around, your head moves inside your hood, and sometimes it isn't the best. And so having a hat you can wear keeps the mobility in the vision and keeps your head nice and warm. So there you are, you're out on the boat. You're photographing a bear. An eagle goes by, and suddenly the heavens open, and it just buckets. We're talking boat filling rain. 
It's often handy to have a poncho. There's nothing breathable about this. This particular one is coated, silicon coated nylon. There are different versions, but they're great. You can just throw it over everything. You, your camera, your camera bag, your partner. I'll just chuck it on now to show you. Boom. I'm completely covered. Again, I, it's like wearing a tent. I can put it over everything. And in fact, these ones do split on the side and you can use it as a tarp or as an emergency shelter. So there you have it, folks. These are my layers out for photographing in the coastal rainforest of BC. Keeps me warm, dry, and yet mobile. And so I can concentrate on making pictures and not how cold and damp I am. Thanks for watching.